So taking a side in the civil war of Skyrim. Who started the civil war? This guy. Oh. <laughs> he, he did it all. It was peaceful and nice before fucking Ulfric came. Yeah, so these are the pros and cons of Ulfric. Um, pros, I couldn't think of any. Um, cons. Well, he sent Avento, uh, the little kid, to the orphanage with the mean grandma. Puts the dark elves in a slum in Windhelm. Racist. Uh, I cannot eat his food in his palace. He didn't recognize me from Helgen. I was sitting next to him for an hour. I was literally next to him in the carriage in the moment where I thought it would be the end of my life. And he didn't recognize me. Uh, oh yeah, the calmer stonefish dude that lives with him, he is a fucking asshole. Okay. I uh, let his staff sleep on the ground in the kitchen, which is pretty weird. Right, he has a whole palace. Strong cloaks, pros. Uh. Strong cloaks saved my life and his family cared for me in Riverwood. I mean, I, feel, I will be forever grateful to the people of Riverhood. Cons play as an Argonian, which is not a north. Um, the priest in White Run is extremely annoying. He is. Runewolf Free Winter says the war got them nowhere, and he is right. That's the cool dude on the market in Windhelm. Um, they only worship Talos, which is the most boring of the gods. I mean, obviously, of all the cool gods they have, he's pretty, pretty boring. Okay, the Imperials. Pros. Solitude is cool. It's a nice city. Their religion has more and better gods. I mean, they removed Talos, but he's boring. And the cons is, yeah, you know, they wanted to execute me even though I wasn't on the list. That's a dick move, man. Angeline Moritz's daughter was in the Imperial Army and killed and the general didn't tell her. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I mean, you should tell people. Pija Snow Shot was killed by them. Orwald Greymane was captured by the Imperials and sold to the Talmor by them. And his brother was really cool. I mean, yeah, that, I, I really like that quest. Then they beheaded Uncle Rockfear. I don't know Uncle Rockfear, but he seemed like a really cool dude and I feel bad for the kids. They wear stupid outfits. I mean, the Imperial uniform is terrible. So this is a point where it's very, very, very important. These points are very important. My loyalty to Yal Balgroove and Whiterun. He made me Thane of Whiterun as I, I did a, like a miserable job. I was really bad at it. I can eat his food and take his stuff. Sometimes I take money from his house. He's pretty okay with it. He's my friend, he's my rock, he's my effing, my bro. I mean, I would be nothing without Yal Balgroove. Balgroove? <laughs> Most important thing is of course my family and my daughter, they live in Right Run. And if you listen to the to Yulvrik's conversations with the one guy, then he says very clearly that they are going to betray Balgrove. And he is my man, so I cannot let him do that. I mean, thank you for listening to my TED talk. I'm gonna choose Imperials, obviously. I mean... I have to make sure my daughters are safe. I cannot betray the man who helped me. Um. Hello, uh, hi. Where's uh, my friend? Hi. Absurd that you can't go good uh, in the skeever hole of a city. Is your dad still asleep? Oh my god, he's so lazy. Wake the fuck up. Yo. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my back. Um, um, yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. What? We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Do it. Dragon, yeah. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single yeah. combat atop Mount Anthor. Yes. 
what you're asking for is insane. <laughs> Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into yeah, the heart yeah, yeah, of my yeah. city? Yeah. With the threat of war on my doorstep? Correct. There must be another way. The risk is too great. I mean, I, I agree. My, my children live here. I mean. Hey, get out of here. The world eater himself. Uh -huh. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Ah, it's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving oh. up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? <laughs> I want to help you, Dragonborn. Oh. And I will. He's I such a friend. First. Okay. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make I a know, I've move. noticed. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? Um, yes. No. Oh. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help okay, you okay. with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. Grey what are the well, I just came they from are that. Respected by all Nords. High I'm not, not going to go. <laughs> I don't want to go all the, the way, to the way to back. <laughs> and maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Okay. Wasn't Ulfric uh, a Greybeard once? I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragon. Yeah, maybe I'm called a dragonborn. I don't know. Maybe I can stop them. You need a lead. Sorry, excuse me. Hey, come back here, you little girl. What do you say to me? Absurd that you. Ouch! Hey! You need a leave. You need to leave. I thought we were friends. Me and your dad are getting along. I mean, you need a new mother someday. Maybe I can date Absurd your dad. Huh? Maybe I can be your new stepmom. <laughs> that will be fun. Oh, hello. Aldwin? We heard the dragon wrench out from here. You defeated him? Not really. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Okay. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved Ooh, themselves in political annoying. affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Yeah, we have to convince them. Artanax has made the decision to help you. Ooh. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Yeah, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards... Oh, exciting. We will see if they still remember us. So... Being old's not so bad. Well, he's talking about being old. True. Hello, I friends. I may look the part of dashing swordsmen, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you... Stop! Oh, no! No, I wanted to stand up. I didn't want... Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you feeling s Drink for the thirsty. Food for the hungry. They never miss a chance to tell you you look sick. Mind yourself in my city, lass. This Jesus, who the fuck are you? Terrible sight. You're the one saved the fire festival. I remember. Thanks. Hello. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Lake Oh Erica. no. I suspect we could use someone like you. Me? Hey? I see. Then there's nothing further to uh, discuss. There? If you change your mind, speak with the Legend. <sighs> the Greybeards. Uh, what do fucking those old hermits them. want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against us. I know, I don't like him either. We need to track him. They are him. getting to be a problem. But you think? I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. But My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Mm -hmm. Okay, persuade. Well, you may have a point. 
It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. Maybe. Yes, yes, okay, fine. He's coming I'll to our party. To this Yay. Council for all the good it will do. Okay. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. Oh my gosh, he's right. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. I hope are blocking everything Every day again. more join his cause. Drifton, <laughs> Dawnstar, and Winterfell Move, Benar, and move. Okay, okay, well, they are okay with it. And now we have to go to the... to Ulfric, my big friend. Just kill Ulfric. I tried one time, I tried. <laughs> tried setting him on fire. But he, uh, like, everyone just came after me. <laughs> Hello, you accepted Corius oh. from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal Who's of pressure then? on the White Run. No, the cruel seas have been sailors for generations. He's not with no. the truth, I regret not following in the here? footsteps. Of if I just go sit there before him, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so sad. Oh no, someone is sitting there, and I cannot sit here. What are we gonna do? Okay, I'll just stand up for you then. Uh. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still Come on, delicate. you freak. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless uh, Tullius himself uh, will be there. Oh, he's being annoying. All do it. Yes. The world eater mm -hmm. of song and legend. <laughs> if that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't nice. it? Nice. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'll oh, he is also coming to the party. With his tail between his legs. Thanks, guys. Stupid Jufri. He Jufric. knows that. They all know that. <laughs> If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, taking his sit. The host ain't loyal. No horse here. No horse. Is he dead? Uh, how are they going? Cool. You know what? I'm gonna travel with you. That's okay. It will be fun. Right? You and me together on a trip. Walking very slowly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what the fuck is that? What? What? You guys see that? There's someone on the dragon. Uh, oh, those are, um, um, uh, the one bitch and uh, the guy. Hello, Esburn. Traitors. Are we gonna do it? Gonna have peace? Hello. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. Oh. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Blah, blah, blah. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, this guy's always they so may put fucking their negative. Down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. Okay. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Why is he in the first Take place? your seat at the council table and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know why we're here. Then so Are you going to let us in or not? We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Oh. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this hey. mountain. Nothing. No. 
What do you think, Bori? Uh, very well. <laughs> you may enter. Oh, oh, very interesting. Oh, where do I see it? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, ball groove is here. Oh my god, all my fr oh my god, all my friends are here. Ball groove and um, this dude and this y'all um and I don't know you. Never seen you before. Oh, ew. Uh, oh, and you, Ulfric. How great. Um, where do I sit? Where do I sit there? Oh my god. Do I sit here? Wow. Now that everyone is here, wow. please take your seats so we can begin. You can take your seats, people. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Me? Your Who? chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. And then stand. I, have every right I don't to care. This negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to Ooh. negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Yeah. Perhaps this would be a good time oh. to get the dragonborns oh, really? in. Okay, I think everyone matter. should shut the By fuck up. Izmir's beard. The By Izmir's beard. The nerve but of those imperial to bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. I don't like this guy. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Feels like a mistake to me. But I'll Dude. bow to your judgment on this. Just fucking sit but down. She is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Hey. Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. Oh. Uh. She's supposed to be on our side. You know exactly. <laughs> no. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Fucking sit down, please. Benar, you can sit here. First. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. You freak, this is I my moment. You okay, you're ruining it. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yeah, let's get down to business. Yes, let's get to this defeat over with. the dragons. Are we ready to proceed? Yeah. Please. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yeah, they can all fuck themselves. I ask that you all respect Everyone the in this game. I don't like anyone. Do your best to begin the process of achieving Except, a lasting uh, peace and, uh, in Skyrim. Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult oh, the Grey by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is Elisif. outrageous. You can't it be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, oh, Boris, oh, yeah, Boris I also said my homie. I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. Markarth, what's he's going to do with that? What you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric Can I does see not something? expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely <laughs> out of character. <laughs> want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. Okay. I think it's a waste of time. Yeah. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Oh, we can see that, Julius. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Mark oh, is worth. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Um, what? Oh, what do I? Oh no! I finally, I can say something. I don't know what to pick. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a Riften? better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the oh. meat we can drink. Why ask me then? Okay, I'm just gonna pick Riften because you say so. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. You heard what she said, Alfred. Uh, I don't care for both. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? <laughs> I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you held the Empire in Yeah, how family. strange. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Galmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you well, think I don't, you know, how good, I don't even know what they're talking the about. your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Jesus. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened. Oh, I don't. To you I don't care because you know what? You Fuck always them. were a fool, Alfric. You're no better at diplomacy. This is uh... on the battlefield. <laughs> Stop. What this Are you is so proud of our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing exactly. while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise so you to tell him to his tongue. This guy. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say. Yeah, before yeah, you do anything but... rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alduin has returned. The yeah. world eater. Even yeah. now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very strange. <laughs> it's not kidding. Well, I swear, if... Oh my god. If he's right about Alden, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember Is he gonna that? sit down again? Now, back to the matter at hand. If he's gonna s sit Don't down and then stand up later, then I'm gonna kill him. It's so Still dramatic. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yalsha. Where do these demands stop? Why, don't stop? You, why is this even a thing? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? <laughs> it seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Oh, what, why am I even Lord in this business? I don't care. Friends. What Let's... say you, Dragonborn? So uh, apparently, I think I have to like, Spoken like a true daughter of give Skyrim. him something. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Oh. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down and make Oh no, Black no, Jarl it will will be become even to fucking become the Jarl. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, Great. and then Gear of Stoom chose wrong. will return <laughs> as Jarl. No. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. What about you, Alessif? Are these terms to your liking? As if he cares. I'm oh, sure Jesus General God. Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count uh, immediate threats, could you just not Come be on, that? We have a lot of work to do. Hit by Picking bitches. Up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. 
I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Ooh. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Okay, nice. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon Do I start this one, dude? Well, I'm afraid that's a question. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Uh, not the moment. He's a dragon. Not just any dragon, but the right hand of Aldrin, responsible for many atrocities during the ancient Dragon War. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crime. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Uh, I don't even... Ah, I believe I can be of help here. What, what the fuck is that crazy I ass fucking dude? The problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of an unguessed troll. Can I just leave? Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map. No, I'm <laughs> not interested, such. dude. I Dude, I am not interested. Thank you. No, I don't. This. <sighs> don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Them, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Okay. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that yeah, Aldrin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Okay. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in the scroll. Okay, thank you. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Oh, Avin. Okay. These terms are satisfactory to my.